Over here in the background, you can see that there is a grid. It is not very clear as of now, but if I were to go around over here, click on an empty spot and go around onto the right hand side. You can see you can go around and choose the color of the grid as well. And you can see it is much more clearer now. There's the grid right here and there's the subdivision of the grid as well. And you can turn the grid on and off from over here on the right side. You can also go around over here onto view and enable and disable the grid from over here from the view section as you can see. So now uh, what's the use of the, this grid is if I were to bring in let's say a particular shape right here just like this. You can go around and then resize it out on this particular grid area. You exactly know that this is a circle because um, the uh, difference between the top, um, the uh, horizontal and vertical points right here is exact. Let me just go around right here and duplicate this right here by right clicking. And if I were to place this out, you can see that by the use of grid, I can place it exactly in equal spaces as you can see right here. So this is what you have. And when the grid is turned on, everything snaps into place as you can see just like this. It snaps on right onto the area and you can go around resize and make sure that you create shapes with equal, um, equal areas right here just like this. So apart from that, if I were to go around, turn the grid off, you can move everything freely as you can see right here. But still, as I move along right here, you can see that a sort of a guide right here pops up when I go on to the exact center and everything is aligned. When there's a three shape, as you can see right here, there's like equal alignment of shapes just like this. You can go around over here and this is what you have. You can go around and resize this as you can see right here. And as I move along, you can see equal sizes of shapes right there. Let me just go around and delete it right here. And if I were to go around and then resize this, this is what you have. You can go around, align the shapes out. So let me just resize this as well. You can see that this is what you have. You can go around, align it right onto the space right there. But if you don't want the guidelines to pop up, then you can go around onto view again. And here you can see guides is an option which you can disable and you can see it does not pop up anymore. You can go around over here and turn on the grids and guides right here just like this. And this is what you have. Everything pops up as you can see just like this. So that is how you can go around and then work around with grid, um, grids and guides inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.